Hello viewers, I am going to show you how to set up WhatsApp on the Smart SMS app. To do that, you need a Facebook account and also we need to use MessageBird as a vendor. Now, you need to set up your MessageBird account and once you are done with that, you will get this screen and you also need to have a Facebook account. You also need a phone number which is not associated with your personal whatsapp account or business whatsapp account because we are going to use that number as an api now to start we have to go to the channels on the left hand side panel over here as you can see so i will click on the channels on the message board so as we are setting up whatsapp as functionality we need to click on whatsapp and we are adding whatsapp as a channel so we will click on continue over here and we need to create your whatsapp channel and you will get a pop-up window after clicking that so as you can see on the tab over here this is the pop-up window i will click on uh, continue as this name as it is my facebook account and i will click on get started i will click on continue and over here i will type my business name and here what i have to do is i have to add a business number and i have that number I will copy it and I will go back I will paste it over here now uh, this is my email address I have to type my uh, business website so it is uh, Now I can click on continue. Over here I have to type in the information, country and uh, I'll type address. once I have added the details now as you can see my business account has been set up now I will click on continue to step 2 once I'm there I will type in the display name which is Shay and I will click on continue over here I will select the category I will click other and I will continue to step 3 now here I will have to choose a number from where I will using my whatsapp so I will register a new number over here now over here you need to register your number which will be your whatsapp number and it will send a verification code you type in and you can proceed to the next step now as the number has been verified what I can do is I can click on OK and move to the next step. Now the next step would be I have to click on verification as the channel has been added. I will click on complete installation. Now as it is done the channel has also been added. I shall check in the channels that uh, the channel has been added over here as you can see. Now the channel ID is important we are going to use it at the later stage so I will copy it. Now we will go to Salesforce 
and we have to go to from number once we are there on the from number we have to add existing number and over here we have to write the country code first which will remain plus one and on the from number above we will add the channel id that we had copied from the message board over here now after copying i will paste it over here and i will type whatsapp and as i have already saved it so you can see how you can do that and i'll cancel it as i have already saved it over here as you can see now the whatsapp channel has been saved in the from number and i'll go to my whatsapp uh, uh, record now for the first time i will have to send in a link so that the user can opt in so i will put this link in the description and you have to type in that link and you have to send it now as i have sent this message i'll click on the link as a user and i will opt in by clicking on it now over here i will click on continue the conversation and the conversation will begin and it will remain for 24 hours now once you cross the 24 hours mark what you have to do is create a template for the same user with whom you want to initiate chat again so i'll click on this template reinitiate chat as i've shown the template has been created in the business account for whatsapp also and i'll have to send this message to initiate the chat again now over here as you can see i have created a reinitiate chat template and over there you can see namespace this is very important you have to copy this and this will be pasted in the smart sms app sms admin you will go to the smart sms app over here and on the sms admin you will find over there where you can add this namespace as you can see whatsapp setup i have already pasted this uh, namespace and it is already in enabled and this uh, namespace has been added now i'll go to my uh, whatsapp uh, where i can check my message which i have been sent now over here the agent has sent the message now for creating the template i have to uh, go to my template and i have to make sure that the is whatsapp template is enabled like over here as you can see and in the template body i have to add a lead name for example i have added over here and uh, this if we add further more uh, uh, fields for example i have added name so over here i have to type one in the template that i am making in the uh, business account of the whatsapp I have to add in a similar way, I have to add 1, if I am adding another field, I have to add 2 in the bracket. Like you, as you can see on the screen, it, everything is same that I have added in the template that I have created over here. And the thing is that I have added the uh, lead name and over there in the business account I have adding 1. And if I am adding further fields, I will add 2 and 3 and so on as you can see over here. Now to continue with the reinitiation, I have sent the message and over here once I see as you can see it has been read. Now once I will reply from the message, ok and uh, it has been sent. So the chat has been reinitiated after the 24 hours mark since I have first started using a link. As you can see, I have received a message 
and the chat has been initiated so from here on i can continue thank you for watching guys